Welcome back to Lyman Senior High School, our second Division III district semifinal matchup. It's Liberty Benton and Spencerville. I'm here with Scott Mag. Scott, these two teams are both conference champions. One's got 21 wins, the other's got 20 wins. Should be a really good matchup. Absolutely. Should be. Both of them are playing really well basketball. I'm looking forward to a very exciting game. Spencerville, champions of the Northwest Conference. Liberty Benton, champions of the BVC. How about keys to the game? Keys to the game one is pace. Both teams like to run their sets and they like to do things differently, so they got to get their pace offensively, right? And so the keys is whoever can control their pace. If you can take it away defensively, you have a good shot of winning. If you control what you want to do offensively, your pace should matter. Second is the glass. Both teams can shoot it really well, and when you give teams second three times attempts to make baskets, usually you lose, so you have to control the glass, meaning you have to box out. Both teams shoot some threes, so therefore the ball is going to come out long if they miss it. you got to box out and control the glass. And last but not least is defend. Both teams runs their, runs their defense. They're going to have to be able to defend and take those plays away. The winner comes back on Saturday for the district championship game. We'll have the starting laps and opening tip right after this. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Lima Senior High School, where tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Mark Shine, Coach Scott Mag here for game number two this evening. The winner will get uh, Ottawa Glandorf a 63-42 win over Bluffton. Let's take a look at some of our game information here while we're doing our lineups. Right now, they're introducing the non-starters for both teams. The Liberty Benton Eagles are actually coached by Doug Whiteman. They are 21 and three on the season. They were nine and zero in the Blanchard Valley Conference. And here is their starting lineup. They will go with number two, Cameron Garlock, a 5'10 senior. He averages 5.1 points per game. Number five is uh, Carson Conaway, 6'5 junior, 13.3 points per game, 6.9 rebounds. Kaysen Doolittle, he wears a number 10. He was the player of the year in the Blanchard Valley Conference. 6'3 senior, 13.75 boards a game for him. 14 is Lincoln Garlock. Lincoln is a 5'9 senior, averaging 9.3 points per game. And number 20 is Reed Thomas, a 6'2 junior, averaging 3.7. For Spencerville, they will go this way for Coach Sensabaugh. Number three is Josh Henline, 6'2 senior, averaging 16.5 points per game. Number 11, Dylan Smith, also a senior. He's 6'2 as well, 14.2 points per game, 4.5 rebounds and 4 assists. 13, Owen Sensabaugh, 5'11 freshman at 7.5 points per game. Number 23, Carter Sidoff, 6'6 junior, averaging 8 points a game and 6 rebounds. And then number 24, Carter Orr, 6'2 sophomore, 6.2 points per game and 5 rebounds for him. Spencerville really likes to get up and down the floor. They average 65.8 points a game. There's our officials for this evening. A.J. Kramer, Tony Sweeterman, Austin Cape. I had a chance, uh, Coach Mag, to see them play a couple of times this year, and Carter Sudoff, the uh, 6'6 junior, is a difference maker. He has 50 block shots this season in their 22 basketball games, and he is a force inside. Right, <clears throat> and what they like to do is they like to force everything to him, right, rightfully so. Yep. You know, he's a rim protector. He, he uh, patrols the paint. He controls what they do. They kind of spread it, and you're right. They like to get up and down. Liberty Benton, on the other hand, want to run their sets and run their plays. And uh, I don't think, it, you know, we talked about this in the pregame. One of the keys is pace, right? Whatever team gets their pace is going to come away victorious tonight. So how do we get to this particular point? Spencerville. Uh, played at just one game, a sectional final game. They defeated fellow NWC team Columbus Grove 66-47 in that Dylan Smith had 19 and Josh Henline had 13. They also got 11 from uh, Osting as well in that particular basketball game. Liberty Benton, they played a couple of games. They opened up with a 60-36 win over Parkway and then won a sectional championship game in dramatic fashion with a 38-37 win over Carey. Conaway has had 20 against Parkway, and he had 11 against uh, Carey. Garlock, uh, this would be Lincoln Garlock, had 14 and 12 in those two particular games. We talked about conference championships in our pregame. Liberty Benton, of course, won the BVC. They have the player of the year in that conference. Case and Doolittle, the 6'3 senior, was player of the year in the conference. Also have a first-team player in Carson Conaway, second-team player Lincoln Garlock, and third team for Cameron Garlock. And the player of the year in the Northwest Conference is also in this match tonight. That'd be Josh Hanlon and the first team also Dylan Smith. 
So we'll have jump ball time now. This is Carson Conaway, and he will jump inside with Carter Sudoff. And we are underway from Lima Senior, and who hit it out of bounds? And we're going to have a little discussion among our officiating crew, and it was hit out of bounds by... Looks like it was hit out of bounds by the blue team, and the headline will be the inbounder. Liberty Benton, blue, trim, blue uniforms, white and red trim. Spencerville, white uniforms, black and red trim for them this evening. We're two seconds into this one, and we lob the ball out front to Dylan Smith. Sudoff has to come and get it. This is sensible to the lane, and the freshman shot doesn't go. Sudoff missed the put out, right there. but gets the second one and scores. Carter Sudoff opening basket. Persistence on the offensive glass. Cameron Garlock gives up the basketball to Kaysen Doolittle. Now on top to Reed Thomas, and they swing it around. This is Cameron Garlock. Pass ball down inside. And working, trying to get a shot. Couldn't. This free ball will go up from Lincoln Garlock. Bounces around. And finally hits on the floor where Dylan Smith gets it. Smith working to try to get inside and cannot. Has to go back out on top to sense the ball. And Josh Henline. And you're going to see a lot of Josh Henline yes. going to the glass this evening. Yeah. They're stood off another offensive board. Making his presence felt already. Smith. Nice pass. What a wonderful pass. Sit off with yet another offensive basket. Four points in the game. Thanks to two offensive rebounds for Carter Sudoff. You got to get a body on him and keep him out of the heat. By my unofficial stats, that's three offensive rebounds for him already. We're not even two minutes into this game. Looking to get a shot up is Kaysen Conaway. Could not. This three will go up. That hits the back of the rim. And hustling into the rebound. Unable to Ooh. score, though. We're going to get a... Rebound wow. foul. What happened on that? Looks like yeah, I, Carson Conaway. He get the foul for jumping over the back. Yeah, he did. I, well, I yelled you. I thought he yes. was going to hit head like he was coming head first down to the ground right here. We see him Watch on the replay there. here. It's good hustle. Flipped it up. And I thought he was going to come straight down on his head, but thank goodness he got his arms down to protect himself. I, that could have been. Very bad. Thanks to Matt's heating and cooling for that replay. Here's the pass down inside to Carter Orr. And he muscles up and scored. And every basket now is at the rim for yeah. Spencerville. Just a little bit tougher. They're, you know, they're jumping in there and getting the Eagles off their back and, and punishing them at the rim right now. Kaysen Doolittle out top. Skip pass around. We'll find Cameron Garlock. And then back it goes to Doolittle. Spins into the lane. Good nice head and shoulder fake. fake from him. And the rebound to Sensabaugh. Dylan Smith. Good change of pace dribble. Good left hand. That was pretty. Dylan Smith. And that causes a timeout from Liberty Benton. 5.35 to go. Opening quarter. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. So his free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. The Metzger Financial Services timeout. Two and a half minutes into this one by Liberty Benton. They need to get something going to the rim here. Get a clean look. Yeah, they haven't had much look. They've been settling for uh, open threes or contested shots in the paint. There's one. Cameron Garlock had a good look at it. Headline rebounded it. This is Smith. Three minutes gone. Headline bounce pass down low. Spin move and a nice pretty one. It tried to go cross court with a pass. Nobody home. Chase of Doolittle went into traffic. Now headed to the rim is Conaway. You know, he talked about Henline being the Northwest Conference player of the year, but you know, he also gets after it on the defensive end, too. He's a kind of a leader offensively as well as defensively. He normally draws one of the better players on the other team, and he gets after it. The illegal screen's going to be called our first foul in the basketball, our second foul in the basketball game. The illegal screen, and it went to looks like Lincoln, Lincoln Garlock, yeah. yes. Spencerville already up 8-0. We'll get another possession. We get our first sub into the Jake basketball Gert. game, number 13, Jake Gert. Gerton. Thank you, 6'3", sophomore for Liberty Benton. 
Here's headline against the trap. It's kind of soft token pressure type stuff. He's trying to confuse him a little bit. Sets the ball, goes baseline, goes up. The shot's blocked by Gherkin. Gherkin. We'll yes. head the other way with Conaway. Doolittle goes to the rim, and we'll draw an and one opportunity. Yeah, great move. Good job by Doolittle to catch and face up and get by the guy and take the contact and convert, hopefully, here for them to the and one. The Lee's famous recipe chicken to free throw as Carter Orr gets his first foul. And we'll bring in number five, Evan Osting for Spencerville. And number 45, Summers. Thank you very much. Missed him coming in. Made the free throw. Summers wears 45 to 6'5", sophomore. Here's the trap again at midcourt. Kind of a nuisance. That actually is pretty effective yeah, right, right there. there. Yeah, and Smith picked it up probably in the worst spots available. Here's the guy just checked in. Yeah, he is. Summers missed a shot. His instant offense there. Here's Headline to the rim. <laughs> Snakes through and scores. Josh Headline has a basket now. Very good at straight line drives. He doesn't get bumped off. He goes hard. And he got hit three times there, but he went right to the rim. Got to make sure he can't get downhill on you. It's way too good. Too little. It's been another three ball that's going to go up, and that one splashes in. Carson Conaway has his 25th of the season. Here's Smith to the rim. He goes off glass. Nope. Rebound comes to Conaway. He's going to throw it ahead to Lincoln Garlock, Cameron Garlock. This is Lincoln. And his shot is bounces around. Does it go? Rebound comes to Osting. Smith led with a great bounce pass, but couldn't finish. Got a little bad, a bad angle. Back the other way comes Conaway. Ooh. Nice Sutter got a hand on that one, didn't yeah. he? And then the two blue shirts carried out of bounds with him. The game will be number 15. That is Seth Elkert, a 6'3 freshman for Liberty Benton. Sutthouse going to get a break, too, as he is replaced by Dylan Cook, a 5'11 senior, who wears number 35 for Spencerville. This three is going to go out of the corner by Osting. is a little long. Did Headline hit it out of bounds? He did. Yes, he did. Talks about how he does plays on the defensive end. He, he, he does it a lot of ways. He can get to the rim. He can get offensive rebounds. I mean, he is a his motor never stops, and that's probably why he won the Player of the Year honors. We pass up on top is Elkert. He swings it around to Lincoln Garlock. Pass inside and finishing with the left hand inside is Conaway. He's got five now. All of a sudden, that lead, it was 8-0, is now 10-8, and it's blocked out of bounds by Conaway, 6-5 junior. Now, Smith's got to get into the shot blocker so he can neutralize him, but when he stays away, it makes it easier for a shot blocker to get a, get a block on you. Turned out to be a good timeout for Liberty Benton. Almost turnover. Yeah, Cook had to save it on the sideline. Here's headline. He lost the basketball. Good Cook dives on Cook. it, wow. and we're going to get a held ball that yeah. will favor Liberty Benton. Wow. I think he was in the air for about three feet <laughs> just when he was flying for that ball. I don't know. It's one of the things heck that of a collision. Uh, Dylan Cook can do. We, I talked to Coach Sensiball when they, we finished up with their uh, NWC championship game against Jefferson, and that's exactly what Dylan Cook does for his team. Sets the tone with his effort. Plays so hard. Case and Doolittle. And you need guys like that on your team, right? You need the guys that do the dirty work, that do the little things to make you a good team because, you know, not everybody wants to play defense. Not everybody wants to rebound. Everybody wants to score and get their name in the, in the newspaper. Short jumper rims out. Garlock rebounds. Back to the rim we go again. and stripped out of bounds. And it went off the leg of Case and Doolittle. Minute 40 to go, Qu quarter number one. Spencerville with a two-point lead. If you look at it. Ooh. Might have got a little bit of hand there. Yeah, might have. Here's headline out of the corner for three. Oh, fighting oh, yeah. over it. 
Oh, two Bearcats fighting for the offensive rebound, and I think we're going to have a little official yeah, conversation. Man. Yeah, Coach Witten. Yeah, <laughs> Whiteman was uh, <laughs> pleading his case to the official. What happy. That's Coach Whiteman right Whiteman. there. His first year at Liberty Benton. Assistant for a long time at up in Toledo. St. John's, I yes. believe. Yep. Yes. A successful program up there, which he was a part of. Here's a three that's going to go up from Gherkin. Rims out. Dylan Smith rebounds. And whenever he gets a rebound, we're headed the other way in a hurry. This will be a three out of the corner by Osting. Rebound comes to Seth Elkert. Off we go in transition. Little scoop shot will not fall for Doolittle. Back we go the other way. Headline for three. A little hard, but the rebound by Osting on the backside. Pass inside Summers. And that time the rebound is snatched away by Jake Gherkin. We've been on 10-8 for quite a while yeah. here. Both teams have gotten not a lot of open looks here. I mean, it probably tournament, you know, in this atmosphere and kind of the nerves and got to settle in here. Here's the three ball. It's going to go up from Conaway. Nope. Rebound. Who hit it out of bounds, I think? Yep. It went out of bounds off of Liberty Benton. That'll bring Sutoff back in the game as well as Carter Orr. I think we also got to Reed Thomas back in the game for Liberty Benton. And now this 1 2 2 press kind of extended a little bit to try to slow them down. It started out as a nuisance, but they've become yeah. more aggressive with it as the quarter's gone along. Here's Smith's pass, Osting. Owen Smith can't get loose. Osting again. Last shot time, headline. Backing it out. See if he gets a high ball screen or just plays one on one. Step back three, well defended. And the rebound will come down to Carson Conaway. The opening quarter comes to an end. 10-8 Bearcats. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Lima Senior. We had one timeout in the opening quarter. That was called by Liberty Benton. Our timeout center sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And if you look back at that timeout, Mark, that was a great timeout because it was 8 nothing, And uh, they went on to outscore them 8-2. to two. That is correct. Spencerville ball here is begin quarter number 2. The team shot a, oh yeah, there's one free throw shot in the opening quarter on a three-point play by Doolittle. Spencerville didn't get to the free throw line. And Smith has to lob it out on front to Carter Orr. Here's the pass down inside to Sutoff. Spins in the lane, jump hook, rebound to Elkert. For shot, he's missed. Cameron Garlock with the basketball. Good defense down there. By Conaway. Thomas. Here's Elkert again. This is a deep three that's going to go up. Hits the rim short. And in the scramble for the rebound, it's tipped into the hands of Osting. Numbers, Spencerville. Smith tries to look. Scoop shot in the lane. Battle for the rebound. Smith gets it again. He's going to go up and draw a foul. That goes to... Lincoln Garlock, he his picks second. up his second, yes. And to the free throw line kind will go. Kind of a go. scrum down there. Kind of, Smith looks like he threw it up and him and kind of fighting for it and kind of just went off his hand. Dylan Smith is shooting a pair of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. Back into the game will be Cason Doolittle. Missed the first one. Smith, a really good basketball player, 62% free throw shooter. Splits the pair. He's got three points in the game. And that's what the lead is. Cameron Garlock. Pass down inside. It's oh. stolen away. Yeah, I think what happened yeah, is. I think he got yeah. through him. He went through him in to get it. And that's A.J. Kramer's call from the backside. His yep. coach Sensible didn't really agree with it at first, but. It's a, good, it's a good call. He went right yeah. through his arm to get to the ball. Yeah, and did. Carter Orr picks That's up his second, second foul, yeah. hence yeah. the return of Blake Summers. And headline and will it. also come back in for yep. Dylan Smith. Kind of seen that on the replay there. 
Replay tonight sponsored by Matt Seating and Cooling. Scoop nice shot play. in the lane. Yes, it was. Doolittle's got five in the game. That's the lead to just one. Kind of little screen. They just threw it up. He won, got it, and put it in. Didn't even come down with it. Great job by Doolittle. Summers pressured out front with the basketball. Here's a three by Sensiball. Good box out. Yes, it was, and that allowed Carson Conaway to secure the rebound. His team could take the lead with a basket. Who would have thought down eight? Sets the ball. Pressuring Cameron Garlock out front. Cam turns really the corner. A, yeah, hard time scoring down there. They got off the quick start. Three balls long. Sets the ball rebounds. Osting. Sets the ball three. Summers rebounds on the backside, and he will be fouled. That foul will go to Cameron Garlock, his first, and back to the free throw line will go with Blake Summers to shoot a pair of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. He's at trail three, nobody box out Summers and had to get over there and foul. Averages five points a game, shoots 78% from the free throw line. A lanky left-handed sophomore, 6'5". Really shoot it. If he gets going and he gets space, he can let it go. That he did with that one to get his first point of the game. Pushes the lead to two. Kind of reminds me, Mark, of like a European big, you know, the stretch and yes. stretch four where that guy can just kind of make some screens and step out and hit a three. Hosting pokes it loose. Yeah. Defense. But headed right Ooh. back to the rim and fighting it up through contact is Case of Doolittle. Uh, either that or remember when Iowa always had a big guy yes. stand at the top of the circle could shoot threes, kind of yeah. just like that. Yes, sir. Foul went to Osting. I think so, yes. Yep. His first. More famous recipe free throws. Doolittle shot's a little hard that time. He has five in the game, and here comes... Dylan Smith back into the game. The winner will get Ottawa Glandorf Saturday. That one he makes, six points for him, and the lead's one again. It's the half court trap, three quarter court trap they've been using. Yeah, it's been kind of a, it's been effective. It's yeah. making them maybe sh take shots quicker than they really want to, maybe not set, and it's, it's causing some problems since they went to that after that timeout. And they drop back into a man-to-man -man when yeah. that's over. Here's Smith. Right-handed shot nice will go. Out. Yeah. Thomas was a heck of a box out there on uh, Sudoff. Yep. Reed Thomas will draw the foul with Sudoff going over the back and through the back. It's his first foul. And back into the game will come Jake Gherkin. Good job by Thomas. I, that was yeah. if, if you're going to. Make a video over how to box out. He he had his uh, butt in uh, his belly, and he basically said, "You're not going to get it. Somebody else on my team's, you know, going to get it." Because Sutoff has been killing him on the offensive glass. And good job by Thomas to Google. take that away. Down inside, he's working and oh, working. We're going to get off. a held yeah. ball. Really nice job defensively, Dylan yeah. Smith. Held his ground, yep. got his hands in there, was strong with the strong with his hands to take to force the jump ball against Doolittle. Doolittle was kind of using the old man game, backing him down a little bit. Good job by Smith to not allow that. Arrow stays with the Eagles. That ball stolen. One. Yeah, here goes Smith the other way. It's two on two. He fights it up through traffic, and Dylan Smith scores. He's got five in the game. First three minutes of quarter number two gone. Pittsville with a three-point lead. Oh, nice pass, but a little bit. Really ooh. good pass. Poke loose, though. Sense ball's headed the other way. It's three on two. I think they miss headline. Yeah. Sense ball gets a look for three in the corner and gets it. Owen Sense ball has 42 now, three-point field goals of the season. Liberty Benton timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's is the replay sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Liberty Benton, second timeout. The first one was very successful in getting them reorganized and back in the game. Let's see what this one does. They're going to go down inside. Has to kick it back out. Repost. 
Do a little working inside, and he gets a shot off that. Hits it every shot. part of the rim yeah. and won't go, and stood off rebounds. They came out of the timeout saying, you're going to get the basketball in the box. Yes. Smith's shot won't go. Kind of Wild slipped out of shot. his hand, yeah. They're going to call foul and suit off. Did they? Yep, I believe. Over the back. Yes. Yep. Yes, they did. Again, good job by uh, Thomas to make sure he didn't get it. Carter Sudoff is at 6'6". Yeah. Six, six. Reed Thomas is at 6'2". But good positioning caused the second foul on Carter Sudoff. And Liberty Benton gets the ball back. Doolittle for three. That was nice. He's got nine in the game of his team's 14. Since the ball gets another three look. Left that short. Rebound comes to Elkert. Coach uh, Whiteman calling his set on the sideline. Garlock finds Doolittle on top. Kind of the, uh, the old uh, Michigan slash West Virginia 1-4 high. Like everything's going across on that little elbow screen. Everybody comes in and then they push shooters or cutters behind it. Garlock couldn't get away from headline, even though he was down in the low post, but now he's got a three look. He turned down. Like the old John Beeline offense here. Elker nice. gives it up in the corner. This three is going to be taken by Gherkin and missed. Headline, backside rebound. Pass inside, sends the ball nice across pass. to Summers. That was a good pass and a good bank shot. Summers has three in the game. This pass from the freshman. Yeah, he. Could have won up with it, but he uh, thought wisely to pass it to the wide open Summers. Liberty Benton kind of hanging on to the basketball, trying to get some things set up. A couple of guys, three guys were actually waiting for the scores table to check in. Yeah. Casey call, Doolittle. Call him a play, make sure to get the right guys in the right spots. Doolittle goes to the rim. Summers got a hand on it. Rebound on the floor by Smith, and we're going to get a foul. Foul goes to Kaysen Doolittle, his first. Good hustle so by cooling. Smith to get that on his yeah. backside when he got the ball. Matt's eating and cooling instant replay. We appreciate their sponsorship this evening. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Smith beats the press. Yeah, kind of looking to see if that tra trap was going to come because he was going to make a pass. What a cut by Henline. Just couldn't finish. Hosting tips the ball to Henline and keeps it alive. Henline working the lane again. And has to go get the ball in the corner back out to Smith. Smith step back three. Ooh. Yeah, there was a serious that. collision on the Osting's rebound. Osting's probably going to get that one. That is correct. Evan Osting picks up the second foul. He becomes the third Bearcat with two fouls. Osting, Carter Sudoff, Carter Orr. And into the basketball game will come Cameron Garlock and Casey Doolittle gets a rest, a rest with 138 to go. He took a pretty good shot right there. And looks like Sensenball yep. Owens checking in as well for Osting. Osting, who has a couple of fouls, getting yep. him out of the game defensively. Dylan Cook's in the game as well. Again, helping in some foul situations inside. Coming off a screen that yeah. time, trying to get a look was Lincoln Garlock and could not. A lot of their plays is coming off a double or something going away, like a misdirection things. A lot of times you do that against pressure to get them kind of overplaying, and then you screen behind it because you're always in help position. It allows for shooters to be open. Nice. Oh, pass goes inside the Elker. Nice Kick play. out. This is going to be a three by Lincoln Garlock. Nope. Good way to go get it. Yes, big strong rebound, Carson Conway. We're going to go the other way, though. What a wild play right now. This ball's going to go ahead. And spinning into the lane. And Billy Cook just grabbed him so he couldn't yeah. get a look at a shot. Yeah. Sixth team foul, his first. Let's he's take a look at it again. Out and he just Going for the ball, and then he just kind of reached, made sure he wasn't going to get an and one. 
LB fans won uh, intentional, but I, yeah. I, you know that's smart play by Cook. Basically, I'm going to foul you, but you're not going to get this one up to make this a three-point play. You're going to earn it from the foul line. Conaway's left-handed shot doesn't go, and Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line was a little bit cold right there. Yeah. And, and again, he got it before he even shot it, so it was a one and one. Good smart play. And he's Lob been inside. Cook has to fight it back out front. Here's Sensabaugh. Smith. He missed Cook. Kind of slipped. He was open there. Headline brings it back out. Now they're going to hand off. This will be Dylan Smith with the basketball. See what the last play looks like. Fights off a screen. Here's a lot shot off glass. Oh, it didn't go off glass. He floated it up in the air. Dylan Smith has seven. And that will bring our opening quarter lead. That's seven points that Dylan Smith has. That is the lead at halftime. 21 for the Bearcats, 14 for the Eagles. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Second half action coming up from Lima Senior High School, where our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV. Your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Liberty Benton quarter scores of eight and six for their 14. All 14 points have been scored by Carson Conaway and Kaysen Doolittle, five and nine respectively. Quarter scores of 10 and 11 for Spencerville. They're led by Dylan Smith with seven. Five other players have scored for the Bearcats. It is their basketball first here in half number three, or two, quarter number three. Since the ball weaves into the lane, finds Smith. Dylan ball fakes and ball slapped Good away. Hustle. Big scramble for it. Hustling wow, into the that. basketball. That How about great that? hustle. Big hustle play in the basket yes. for Lincoln Garlock, his first basket of the game. See if wow. that puts a spark into LB. <laughs> yeah. He came from nowhere yes, to get that ball. I tell you, he was three guys behind, and he just went past him to go get his sensible ball knocks down. Sensible ball knocks down a three from behind the screen. He's got two of those for six yeah. points tonight. He's got 43 of them on the season. Eight-point lead. Garlock again with the basketball. This is Lincoln with the basketball. Now Cameron. Cam looks down inside. And Lincoln. That's nice curl. A lot of travel. Yep. Bumped off the basket. And there's That's a three ball though. that will go in for Carson Conaway. His and, second of the night gives and, him eight. And again, he they got space. Who hit it out of bounds? Henline was battling inside with Doolittle. Yep. Yeah. Henline hit it out of bounds. It'll be Liberty Benton basketball trailing by five. I think both of them might have hit that ball, I would think, but. That's a tough call for anybody, and we have the luxury to just watch it on TV and from way up here, and I don't know if I could have got the right one on that. Here's Cam Garlock. Got another three look, and yep. oh, that was a little bit hard. Yep. Good job by Thomas to go get that one. He did so. Garlock gets a three. That missed. Sutoff bangs it head to Sensabaugh. And then Sensabaugh passed it behind him. And coach is going to say, freshman, do not pass the ball to the big guy in the open court like that. <laughs> yeah. And the right. freshman will learn. Yep. The best thing about it, he becomes a sophomore next year. <laughs> He's got all that experience. Five-point lead, Bearcats. Thomas on top. Swing it around. Bounce pass down low. Sutoff got a block with that one. Nobody picks him up. Oh. Uh, headed all the way to the rim. Good hustle oh, by what Smith. What a save by Smith. This is going to be thrown ahead, though, to Cam Garlock, and he will finish under pressure. He's got a basket now. The lead is three. Here comes the half court pressure. Uh, and then they're just hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. Trapped. Smith looking for somebody. Finds soot off, and they have to bring it back out to Sensball. Now back over to Smith. Dylan works the lane as he so often does and goes off glass and scores his ninth point. He just gets to that right hand so quickly, and then he once he gets by you, he goes to the rim, or if not, he's running that one hand push floater in there that he's so good at. Off a couple screens and working in the nice. lane. Left-handed shot. Boy, it would not go, however, 
for Doolittle. He got his to roll on the rim and not fall. Bearcats with a five-point lead. Nice Euro step there. Smith works in the lane, and we get a push foul. Lincoln Garlock. Opening foul of the second half will go to Lincoln Garlock. That's his third. third. Yeah, that's unfortunately for him. He plays so darn hard, doesn't he? And that, that allows Seth Elkert to pop into the game. Headline will be the inbounder. Lobs it into Orr. He's trying to back down and oh, spin nice. move. That was a that, wonderful spin yeah. move. And that's that little dribble drag we kind of talked about. Get him going one way, spin back. That's tough to defend. Take that long step with the left yeah. foot and keep him on your backside. Oh. Smith with a steal. Collided with the official and. You're gonna, part of the play. He, he is. He is he, part of the play. The question is who matter. hit it off of him. Yeah, he can see it. Yep, yeah. that's what he's asking. So. Get some help from his officiating crew that said it went off of Spencerville. Yeah, and, and uh, Coach Sensabaugh just wanted yep. an explanation, and once he said, I seen it go off him, he's like, okay, I understand. He kind of wanted to know why he asked him, because he's right, the official, you're, if you're on the court, he's part of the part of the yep. action, so he's live. Throw it off him, and then nothing happens. But Carter Sudoff sat down during that break, and Blake Summers took his place. Summers has three points. But I don't think either one of those players were trying to go around them. They were going to try to go through them to get to the ball. Great hustle. Ooh, Elkert has to throw it back out under traffic. A for a freshman there to throw it right back and out. Lost it trying to dribble through traffic. Numbers, Bearcats, Smith in transition from Henline. Nice. Easiest shot he's had all night. He just dismissed it. I wish he, wish he has that one back. Conaway, yeah, under a little bit of pressure, but yeah. he had a, he was going awfully fast and he couldn't get his, himself gathered to get the shot to go down for him. Eagles trailing by seven. We're halfway through quarter three. Step back three, Doolittle. He's got 12 in the game. That's his second three-point field goal. The ball's kicked out of bounds to the third row. You got to give the basketball back, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Kick, that's right. A, kick a football up there, you get to keep it. Well, well it's not the NFL, yeah. right? <laughs> that three Go. ball cut the lead to four. A couple of fans are kind of laughing over there. They about got drilled in the head with the ball. Good thing they're paying attention over there. Headline spin, spin move off glass. That was pretty. Oh, He's yes. got four. Yeah, kind of like the dribble drag he had. He just got him going one way. Such an athletic play to spin around and finish at the rim. There was a woman at Wapak last night, and she was about half paying attention in the front row, and the ball hit the seat beside her. Oh. And she jumped, and if it had been over about another three feet, it, could, it would not have been a pretty sight. Yeah. Six-point nice. lead. They got it down inside, and, yeah. and one opportunity will go for good Seth job. Elkert. Elkert, good job. Good little up cross screen. He's got to the block, handled the comp. The uh, pressure here, as you see, comes across. Gets down there, got into the shot blocker, and goes up, call, draws a contact, finishes at the rim. Thanks to Matt's heating and cooling for our replays. Our free throws are sponsored tonight by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Free throw goes. And our Finley Truck and RV scoreboard shows the lead down to three for the Bearcats. And this 1-2-2 two, two press is kind of giving Spencerville a little bit of fits tonight. Nonetheless, Smith. it kind of slows him down, and you call Garlock with the foul. It's a second. That will also be the team's second of the half. Got yeah, maybe a little bit of the arm there, but he's getting close. Smith is just so strong with the basketball, it's hard to get the ball away from him. Hosting looking and finally finds Summers. I don't want to travel there. Liberty Bend been faithful. There's Dylan Smith off glass. Nope. Nice strong rebound, Jake Gherkin. Gherkin. Yep. Yeah, well, got it, didn't he? This is Cam Garlock as he walks the ball over midcourt. He's going to get a high ball screen that time from Conaway. Doolittle. Ball's poked by Smith. Approaching two minutes to go, third quarter. No hurry here for the Eagles. Double or, high screen. Yeah, usually what they do, double hard screen, then you get somebody coming back to it. They're really not looking to slip anybody. It's like a screen and then go away and get a shooter coming up for the three-point line. 
Google who comes off that screen, spins yes. into the lane. He will go up with the right hand nice. and finish. That was really well done. He's yep. got 14. Ooh, in the he game. needs to get ran over. They're going to call yes, it. Yeah. He did. Jumped in front. Yep. And I, I, I don't know if it's really that much, but once Henline extended that arm, that's an easy call for the officials, right? There's not much contact here. Do little jumps there and just kind of gets there, but then as soon as yeah. Henline kind of extends that arm away from him, and it, the, the he may have fell a little bit extra there too, but that's an easy call for the fish when you extend that arm. Yeah, the turnover will be Josh yeah. Henline's first foul, and for the first time in a very long time, Liberty Benton could take the lead. Yeah. Just hanging around and just their place, right? Their pace, running their sets, getting the shots that they want. You haven't seen many transition opportunities for the team wearing no. white the second half. No, you haven't. They're controlling the pace, making the game what they want. Slow down, run their sets. Don't got it, run the next one. Garlock to the rim, over set off. Oh. Go, oh. Boy, was Elker was yes. kind of going there. He thought he could throw it to him again, the freshman mistake. Boy, I tell you, he athletic play, wanted to go get it. He probably should have thought maybe he could throw it into the rim. They're going to graduate. Uh, Case and Doolittle, and they're going to graduate uh, Cameron Garlock, but they've got some guys coming back. Lincoln Garlock's going to graduate, but they're young guys. They got some tools. There's a steal on the baseline. Elkert. Elkert. They stepped right in front. Good read by him. Yep, saw the trap and went to help his teammates out. Got a steal because of it. Spin move in the lane. That shot will go down. Oh. Case and Doolittle puts his team up. He's got 16 in the game. Under a minute to go. Sends the ball to the rim. Floater short. Yeah, and just, you can just see the you know the wind coming out of their sails. They're not shooting as confident as they were when they're up eight. Gherkin kind of short arm that one a little bit, didn't he, Mark? He did, and Gurkha snatched the rebound yes, down. Let's did. see he with a lead if they choose to play last shot. I would have bet. Yeah. If not, it's going to be a layup or an open three. The way the uh, momentum is going, a basket here would yeah. be huge for Liberty Benton. And this place will erupt, especially their, this side. Right? Yeah, this side where their crowd is at. Yeah. There. Of course, their students are all busy eating the free popcorn passed up by Lima <laughs> Senior tonight who wanted to close the concession yeah, stand. They want to go home too. Shot off glass, a little hard. Sense the ball, rebounds. Headline gets the shot blocked as he tried to throw one at the quarter. But big Liberty Benton rally. They'll take a one point lead to the break. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Lima Senior High School. Our free throw side are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here on our Finley truck and RV scoreboard. Liberty Met with a 17 to nine quarter and they will take a 31-30 lead as we head into quarter number four. Yeah, and you know, back to our uh, pregame, we said defend and we said glass was two of are uh, keys and right now Liberty Ben's defending and they're not that quarter they gave up zero offensive rebounds where they had given up nine or seven the first two quarters so Liberty Ben's taking the keys that we talked about and uh, putting it into play and that's why they got this one point lead here. Handline with a basketball doubled up on the baseline. Spencerville really hasn't gotten a shot this third quarter Without a hand in his face, not really any many open back looks. cut. Right there was a pressure yeah. shot. Carter Orr got caught behind the backboard and yeah. couldn't get the ball to the rim. But you, they had two guys trying to block it, and then there was two more guys coming. So, I mean, he got two guys up in the air. But it's, you know, Liberty Ben's doing a great job playing team defense here. Pass inside, and the shot won't go for Conaway. Kind of drifted away from that one. He didn't go, he didn't tack the rim. He kind of won away. He was afraid of the contact coming. Here's Dylan Smith off glass. He gets the lead back for his team. Tough Dylan's shot. got 11 now. That was a tough shot. Very tough. Seven minutes to go. The winner gets Liberty Bent in front of this game. We'll get Ottawa Glandorf on Saturday. Bounce pass down and low. And we're going to get a foul on Dylan Smith from behind. That's just his first and the team's third of the half. That's an easy call for uh, A.J. Yeah. Kramer. I mean, he slapped down at it. Maybe he didn't hit it, but from that official's angle, he sees that arm go down and the ball come and get disengaged. That's an easy play right now. You see as he slapped down at that ball, that's an easy call. He has to go through him to get to that. 
as that trail official. Cameron going Garlock. Going to blow whistle every time. Cameron Garlock, Reed Thomas back into the game. Here's Lincoln Garlock, wanted to get to the rim and could not. You get the feeling Liberty Benton just might say, you know what, we're going to just be really, really patient with this yeah. lead. I think they will. Here's the pass down inside. Garlock going to get a three look. Oh, he got Cameron fouled. got a hand on it yeah. and fouled him. Yeah, that's a great shot. Good shot, fake, got him off the ground, and then Henline trying to, thinking he's going to go up, and he kind of like stuck the ball out and let him grab it. As you can see right here, he kind of faked him. He kind of held the ball, and he's like, oh, if you're going to foul me, I'll try to throw one up here and get three shot attempts. That will be three, three Lee's famous recipe free throws. <laughs> Makes the first, but he's got three points in the game. Ties the game up at 32. And here will come the third opportunity. Headline now has two fouls. His team has four and a half. Makes two out of three. He's got four points in the game. That will allow Kaysen Doolittle to re-enter the basketball game and replace Seth Elkert. Who's played a nice game. I, I keep looking. That, that's a freshman. Yes. Six yeah. three freshman. That kid's a freshman? Yes. How about that? He is. Uh, what a career he's got ahead of him. Yeah. And he's just his anticipation on the defensive end, mm -hmm. too. He, imagine after playing for four years how well he's going to be as a senior. Wow. So a nice play. Trying, yes. You see um, Garlock just kind of stood in the way, slowed it down, and it caused that turnover. That's great scouting. Know the, what the play was. I'm going to stand here. You're going to slow you down. You throw that pass, my guy's going to be right there to take it. Eagles, one point lead, six minutes to go. Do little. Working and working. He wants to get a shot off and can't. Garlock's going to get a three that's short. Yeah, I think he got that tipped a little bit. Well, it must not have because they gave the ball to Spencer. Yeah, I thought it did too when it came out of his hand. I'm sure uh, Whiteman probably didn't really want that at that time. I know he was open. You don't want your senior not to be aggressive there. But, wow, good job by Smith to get in the air and find the open Guys, he threw that across. That was going to get taken. Dylan Smith, reverse layup. Look, nope, comes back to that side. He's got 13 in the game. All four points in the quarter for Spencerville. Just constantly right hand just getting. Doolittle was trying to work his way to the rim and got pushed. In line or Let's see. Smith, one of them. Smith, Smith second, second foul. Rim. Maybe more importantly, fifth team foul. Liberty Benton with just two team fouls in the half. Kind of pushed him just a smidge, but. Garlock looking and finally finds Conaway. Cam Garlock. Gets some instructions from his coach to reset with Sensible guarding him. Five. Five count. Oh, wow. Sensible put just enough yeah. pressure on to get to five count. Yeah, he never really got him to get off of him, even dribbling out so that. It started right when he dribbled way down low, and he dribbled all the way out to the Spartan, which took a couple signs, uh, seconds, too. Here's Spencerville up a point. Smith harassed by Lincoln Garlock. A little floater to the lane. Backside rebound. Carter Orr. No, he was undercut, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He kind of won up, and uh, Doolittle kind of won underneath him a little bit. It was a good call by the official. It appeared that way from up here. Yeah. There's a replay, replay of here. it. Let's take a look. Kind of one up, and then he kind of yep. backed and pushed him off. Yep. yep. Was, a was a good, good call. call. Yep, sure was. Headline for three. Just, he's well, what struggling. a battle for the rebound. Who had it out of bounds? Looked like it's going to go off of Carter Sutoff and go yeah. to Liberty Benton. Yeah. Again, that's one of those other tough calls by the officials. I, from up here, I, I don't know who that one off of. Headline had a pretty good look yeah, at it for sure a man did. who has made 39 threes on yeah. the season. He's kind of struggling a little bit tonight. I don't he know if has, it's the bigger yeah. gym and the walls being so close or whether he's used to, but he's got a lot of looks that normally he knocks down. He's got just four points this evening. Doolittle. He's going to step back for a three. Line drives it. Headline pulls the rebound down. We'll go the other way. Whiteman's like kind of wide. He can shoot that. Get that anytime. And we're going to get a blocking foul way out front on Carson Conaway, his second. 
Fouls starting to pile up a yeah. little bit on Liberty Benton as they have four team fouls now. And that was the right call. He jumped yep. out there and he kind of hip checked him a little bit. That's easy call, that in, 80 in, feet from the, the basket. Know, That's easy. Impeded his progress. Yes, That's he did. what says the rule book. Mm -hmm. Dylan Smith. He's going to get a high ball screen from Sutoff. Turns the corner. Sensabaugh, he's going to work the lane. Here comes Henline for another three look. That one hit the front of the rim, but Orr tracks it down. Good hustle by Orr right and to the rim. he goes right to Ooh. the rim, gets it blocked. Sutoff stays with it and gets the put off basket, put back basket for six for him. And the lead goes to three. There they are on the offensive glass yeah, again. And I'm just ready to say that glass that, you know, we talked about as a key. And uh, LB timeout, 4.02 to go in the fourth. You're watching high school basketball on WSN. Third timeout for Liberty Benton. Our timeouts that are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Liberty Benton trailing by three, takes a timeout. Ooh, about had that. Yeah. They knew he wasn't going to shoot it. They were, they were sending a shooter off the backside, and yep, they're going to call foul. Doolittle got to. Was, that's, yeah, Doolittle yeah. was headed to the rim and got bumped yeah. off of his straight line drive. Sure did. The foul will be Josh Henline's third. Sixth team foul, too. I think they call that on Smith, number 11. Oh, they did. Yes, they did. Okay. I looked at the wrong number on the scoreboard, but it's his third foul. Garlock for three out of the corner. Or battling on the backside, and they got uh, Carson Conaway going over the back or through the back or whatever yeah. the right term is. His third foul, team's fifth. Close as this game is, free throw shooting is going to be pretty important yeah, to we sure get down is. towards Absolutely. the end. Absolutely. Not only that, they got a, they got a, as we talked about, we got a. Now what do we got? I don't know. Warning, I think, uh, sideline warning on yep. the uh, Liberty Benton. Chris Whiteman was out on the floor. I'm not sure he was complaining so much. He was just out kind of barking instructions, but he was on the floor and he got a warning. Yep. Next one's a T. Yes. It's a delay of game warning, so yeah. any type of situation that causes a ball to be delayed being in play could be the second one of those and result in a technical foul. Smith goes to the rim, left hand finish. That was pretty. 15 now for him. Yeah, he's starting to get in there a lot easier than he did that third quarter, and they kind of struggled to score. LB's got to keep him out of there if they want to come away victorious tonight. The lead has grown to five. Just two points in the quarter for Liberty Benton. Those were free throws a few moments ago yeah. by Lincoln Garlock, and there's a pushing foul that'll go against. Henline. Henline, I think. Yeah. That will be his third and also means free throw time for Seth Elkert. These will be Lee's famous recipe. He's one free throws, one, one yeah. and one. Uh, he's one for one for the game is what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 And, and one and one. one. Yeah. yeah, good yeah. call. Yeah. Makes that one on yeah. our Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. It makes it 38-34. If you're LB, you kind of want to make this to get into that 1-2-2 two, two, that's kind of given Spencerville the fits. And he does. Makes all three of his free throws today. Two this time to cut the lead to three. Dylan Smith, headline. They've gone back man to man once they finish the pressure. Headline to the rim and will be fouled. Could be a shooting foul? I think he signaled yeah, so, did he? Yeah, two, yep. Foul goes to... Two shots, yep, number two. Cameron Garlock. Cam has three fouls now. Team six, but it's a shooting foul for Henline, who is an 86% free throw shooter on the season. And, and, you know, the bad part about this, if you're an LB fan, he's been really struggling. You know, if he makes both of these, sees the ball go through the net, that might yep. change his shots right there. You don't... You don't want to see a shooter let see the ball go through the net. You want to keep seeing a miss. Isn't that amazing how that yes. works? And, and it, even it, if it's a foul shot or correct. a layup or whatever, they see the ball go through the net, and then all of a sudden they catch fire. And both of those, Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throws go. The lead's to five. He's just having a hard time getting anything open looks here. Cam Garlock. 
Headline jumped out and played the passing lane. Couldn't get it to Lincoln. Conaway. And then Cam Garlock again. Liberty Benton has just two timeouts remaining. Spencerville's not called a timeout in the game. They have five left. Steal. Oh, steal. Orr gets a steal. He's headed the other way and will be fouled by Cameron Garlock to prevent the layup. Yeah. Great hands by Orr to knock that one away and uh, tried to get himself a basket. Watch these quick hands. No, we missed a little bit, but he got that. He knocked it away from Conaway and Garlock sprints down there to knock that one. Thanks to Matt's heating and cooling tonight for our replays. It's the first free throw will not fall for Carter Orr. 75% free throw shooter on the season. Got four points tonight. He averages six. That one will splash down for him. The lead is six. And we're going to get a sub, sub in the game. Yeah. Looks like we're going to bring it in Jake Gerken. Gerken. Yeah, for yeah, Garlock's got four fouls, so. He's going to take a seat. I bet he's not over there very long. No, I bet not either. There's only he's, two minutes left. Yeah. And uh, his defense and aggressiveness is something they're going to need. Down not only six. that, but his ball handling, yep. getting people where they need to be is also help. Talk about aggressiveness right to the oh. rim, trying to get a shot up. Was Conaway couldn't. I'm sorry, Doolittle. Doolittle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wrong all-conference player. <laughs> yeah. There's Doolittle's pass. This is Conaway. There's Doolittle off the screen, curls in, little Tough jumper. shot, wow. That was pretty. Yes, it was. Got in the paint, Eight. fade away, got get into their 18 for him. Spencerville timeout, 1.48 to go. You're watching high school basketball on WSF. Our instant replays today have been brought to you by Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimates. That timeout was taken by Spencerville, their first in the game. Each team in the second half has committed seven team fouls, so that means be one and one on the next foul. And the possession arrow favors Liberty Benton. A little game reset. Mark Shine Scott Mag here. Spencerville's going to inbound the ball, and they're going to be able to move that pressure up a little bit. Yeah, they're kind of going into a 1-2, one, 1-1. One, one. Try, probably going to try to trap at the corners, knowing that it's going to go into 11-3 right and three to yeah. try to get him out of their hands. Ooh, he might have gotten Smith away got with putting his hand around him. He kind of dribbles to a spot where they can Smith's, trap better. Smith's trapped, and his coach says, we yeah. got to have another timeout. Things aren't <laughs> – they weren't going very smoothly that time. He wanted to get a timeout. Yeah, and you, and you got to – know when they're trapping, you got to stay away from the corners and not just – you know, he's got to stay in the middle of the basketball floor when they trap in the middle, it's easy. You got easy passing angles, right, to people yeah. that are open. You go to the side, and you, you only have to take away a couple spots, and you can read shoulders and try to get a steal. That sideline and or the 10-second yes. line becomes right. an extra defender. Yes. If you're out of town or can't get WSN, WSN is now streaming 24-7 online on Roku or Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. $100 allow you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. This is all a part of the 10 games at 10 p.m. on WSN this week, every night, Tuesday through Saturday. It's going to be a foul that will go and be assessed to Carson Conaway. That is his fourth, I believe. What's the scoreboard say? It yes. is. And I think that's the right, right call to get set off, foul him because you, do, you know Smith or – Henline, we're going to get it if if he didn't get fouled. 47% free throw shooter. Yeah. Went up high to get the rebound to Elkert. Down by four, Liberty Benton. Need a basket. Doolittle working, and his coach takes a timeout. We're going to break also. 126 to go. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Trailing by four, Liberty Benton takes their fourth Metzger Financial Services timeout. 126 to go in this one. Inbounding will be done by Jake Gherkin. You know, there's a lot of things to look at this. You know, LB had to call a timeout because they were looking to what play to run. And a lot of times when you run set after set after set, you get in transition. You don't know what to do there. And, and you know, good job by the coaching staff to call the timeout, set up a play, and 
and allowed uh, Doolittle to get to the rim and, and score with the clock not running. And pick up the fourth foul on Dylan Smith. Yeah. This also allows them to sub in their defensive guys to take their offensive guys out. 19 points for him on the Lee's famous recipe free throw. You're right, here comes the subs in defensively and Spencerville counters with some ball handers and some free throw shooters. Yeah, and set off goes to the bench. Case of Doolittle makes this, it'll become a two point game. He is two for three at the foul line this evening. Make it three for four, 20 for him. The lead is two. There's that nuisance press again, which yes. has become tighter and tighter as the game has gone along. And not Smith right across the 10 second line, but he makes a pass out of it to Osting. Or. Right. How long did they wait before they foul? Pass to Henline. And these two guys are just going to go back and forth. I. Ooh. <laughs> I'm kind of with the agreements of the LB fans. They might have got away with a little travel there. Headline works the lane and kicks it back out. Sense the ball. This is Orr, and he will be fouled. Yeah. Carter Orr is a 75% free throw shooter on the season. That's on Thomas. Tonight he is one for two. Reed Thomas's first foul. That is the ninth team foul on Liberty Benton as well. So this will be the final one and one that Spencerville will shoot tonight. You kind of mentioned it, Mark. This tie to game is going to come down to free throw shooting. LB has made majority of theirs down the stretch, and uh, the Bearcats have missed a few. And rattles rattles out yeah. a little hard, rattled it's out. Missed their last two. Here comes Doolittle. His team trails by two under a minute. He works the lane. Garlock for three. Smith tracks it down in the corner on a big hustle play and calls timeout. That's a heady play yes, by, by, by your senior. senior. Yes. Yeah, oh. Garlock had a shot just in and out. Kind of his story is night. He just hasn't made one from deep yet. But how about the play by Dylan Smith? He out hustled sure. everybody to the basketball, realized he was in the corner under some pressure and decided I'm just going to call timeout and get the ball. And that's a very difficult place to inbound to basketball, though, way down the corner. But it was better the turnover he was going to create where he was at. Absolutely. Now, you, gotta, you know, you don't still want to throw anything to the basket, right? Because I've seen this way too many times that you turn the ball over leads to an easy layup, and now the game is tied with 20-some seconds left. You want to throw it deep and get it out of that corner. And nothing back to the basket. Well, Look at the ball's all by himself. Yeah. They found him. He right the, the I'm sure Osteen's going to yeah. go screen for him. He's going to come to the ball into the middle of the floor. Look for Henline to probably screen up for Smith and take off running. Look, 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 and to get it in bounds. There's a foul that's going to go that will put Dylan Smith at the free throw line. The foul went to Lincoln Garlock, and he now has four fouls. Yeah. It's also double bonus time for Dylan Smith. Coach Whiteman is there like, why did you let him get the ball? Just guard him. That's the guy we do not want to foul, but they've missed the last two. Anything can happen here as the offensive guys are ready to check in and the defensive guys are coming in for Spencerville as well. There's a bunch of guys over there at the scores table. Dylan Smith, who is now two for three at the foul line tonight, has 16 points. Still a one possession game, so I mean, 31.3 to go. Here's LB still has one timeout left. Here's Dylan Smith again. Sutoff went and got the rebound, got it blocked. We're trying to go back up inside. We got numbers headed the other way. Liberty Benton, this will be a three. Nope. Garlock has to pull it back out and LB. Liberty Benton take a timeout. I think they did. The yeah, crowd got yeah, up. We couldn't right. see. Couldn't see, couldn't see what was going on from here, our yeah. vantage point. 21.3 to go. I guess we should have looked at the TV screen we have in front of us, but all of us wanted to watch the game live. 21.3 left, and that is the final Liberty Benton timeout. They trail by three. So now, you, you not only this, but you got to say, hey, I, me personally, I would take the, the very first shot because they're going to play the three, so let's attack. And then we got a foul immediately. Got to deny like crazy, foul like Foul immediately, and then all depends what coming back. You go hard, you either get a layup or a three coming back the other way and see what happens. So you got to set up a couple possessions. 
Spencerville has three timeouts remaining. The arrow does favor Liberty Benton. We might have to watch this one from uh, our right. vantage point because they ain't going to be able to see the bottom. <laughs> I think we're going to have to step back here and watch from the monitor. Lincoln Garlock is the inbounder. He gets Doolittle coming off a of screen. Lincoln. 15. Now they're going to have to struggle. Yeah, they're going to have to get a shot up yeah, quick. Yeah, Doolittle's got to go. Got to go. Switches nine. out to him. Now you got to take a three. There it is right there. Three ball. Bounces the rim. Rebound into the corner. Headline secures the basketball with point eight to go. He is fouled. Boy, they defended that possession yes, really well. And, that, and that's kind of what I was talking about. They were switching everything and just basically guarding the three-point line. They should have slipped something or got something going to the basket because they wasted about 10 seconds trying to get somebody open up on the three-point line there. Headline who's had a good night at the free throw line, two for two, 86% free throw shooter on the year. He's three for three there tonight. Now, you, now that, you miss and game over. I guess our make it doesn't matter. You just, everybody get out of the way. Bounced it in. I'm 86% free throw shooter. I'm not going to yeah. miss. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that one will bring this one to an end. Spencerville will move on to the district final on Saturday against Ottawa Glendorf with a 44-39 victory. Post game coming up right after this. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back alive at Senior High School as the crowd begins to file out. Spencerville moves on to the district final, 44-39 over Liberty Benton. First order of business to take care of our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. Scott Mag, we didn't take very long to vote on no. this one. A lot of guys who obviously played very hard this evening, but Dylan Smith kind of stood out tonight, and he is our Stolly Hustle Absolutely. Award winner. Absolutely. He had the ball in his hands, I would say, 90 to 95% <laughs> of the time. Uh, he got into the lane a lot. He uh, finished at the rim. Uh, he made some... Uh, big foul shots, and um, not only that, but he played some very good defense down the stretch. And, you know, for that, he earned himself the Stolly Hustle Award winner. I think he kept he kept them in it, right? He, yes. The first half, he, he had eight or nine points, and they had eight or nine big points because he was getting to the rim and causing a lot of difficulties that the uh, Eagles couldn't. They couldn't. They didn't have an answer for him all night, and, and – uh, he, he, he was definitely the best player on the, on the court tonight. Liberty Benton will end their season at 21-4. and four. They had quarter scores of 8, 6, 17, and 8. They were led in scoring by the player of the year in the Blanchard Valley Conference. Cason Doolittle had 20 tonight. Carson Conaway had 8. For Spencerville, quarter scores of 10, 11, 9, and 14. They trailed by one heading into the fourth quarter, and they won this one by five this evening. They were led in scoring, as we mentioned just a moment ago. Dylan Smith had 16. Then they had a bunch of guys with six and four and numbers like that. So kind of even balance for them. They will go to 21 and two on the season. They will play Ottawa Glendorf at 2 p.m. here on Saturday, a game you can see on WOSN on Saturday. I want to thank our uh, athletic director here. That would be John Zell. We want to thank our crew as well that did both games here tonight. Wayne Getz was in the truck directing this along with the replay of Derrick Henry. Our camera people tonight, Jacob O'Neill, Seth Hegemeyer, Marshall Jordan. And back on Beatty Road, Kelly Getz put all this together for our live production. Once again, Spencerville moves into the district finals 44-39 over Liberty Benton. You've been watching high school basketball on WSN.